All right, so I've just finished uh, writing out the majority of these commands. So I've got two groups, the direction quantity order uh, with the direction by X and then Y by quantity. Uh, these are all within the prefix group there, and this is the suffix uh, for those. Uh, we also have uh, quantity by direction. Uh, you will notice the quantity by direction, I've got percent as an optional for the direction. Uh, part of the problem was I could not put the numbers and then percentage in afterwards. It uh, it was recording as a duplicate for here. So seems like a bug with voice attack uh, that I can probably submit to them. Um, so... I'm going to go ahead and create the handler that will now grab the direction and quantity variables and do something with it. So first off, this uh, full power to whatever, uh, this will actually uh, include most of the conditions I want. So it's got to compare uh, and then inco input command is the variable it was looking for there. Uh, contains each of the directions and then loops the amount of times it's already got the key binding set up and I know this one works so what I'm gonna do is just copy all that out okay it's gonna do a new command right and this is shield management handler and it's actually not gonna be an audible call at all so I'm gonna paste that in uh, I'll go through and clean this up here in just a second um, the other things, I'll need to give it a title and make sure it's in the right category, but, uh, yeah. I expanded the format and I don't have the buttons anymore. So, the description is shield management handler. Uh, the category goes into shield management. Okay. And... So there's a few things I'm going to want to do. First off, um, we have different variables than what these are called. So we have the integer loop. And if we want to, we could actually just set this as um, uh, a reference to the shield quantity variable. That way I don't have to go through and change it six times. Yeah, so set integer loop equal to the value of shield quantity, which I think works. Uh, we could do the input command. Um, I've used shield direction on the others, and I think uh, we could do the same type of thing. So let's set a text value. Okay, input command and shield. Can't remember if I did dir or direction let me see real quick okay so I did have full shield direction and just for good measure I'm gonna copy that out save it open back up my handler okay so we're back here and there we go so the input command equals shield direction, loop equals shield quantity, and that should go through if we've got forward, rear, right, left, top, bottom. Um, if nothing else, uh, then I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna throw in, so advanced, add an else if. Actually, we'll just add an else. Okay, and this will display a warning. So we're going to do advanced, write a value to the event log in red and saying no direction recognized check input commands or possible mismatch or something. Okay, so this is kind of the fail safe. It it should have at least one of these. All right. 
we've got each of them, it's the lowercase version of all those directions. I don't think we'd hit this failsafe, but if we do, uh, it'll at least uh, pop out that uh, pop out that warning. So we've got that. Um, part of the other thing is we don't have uh, the conditionals for the HUD interaction. So that's another piece I want to make sure we bring in. So on full power, you'll see at the beginning I said save this. So it's uh, if the system HUD interaction does not equal false, right? so basically if it's true or if it's not set, um, then we pop open the shields, uh, and then at the end we give a bit of a pause. I put one and a half seconds. Actually, what I'm going to do is just copy that out. I'm going to cancel this edit so it doesn't save over. Okay, now I'm back in the shield management handler. At the end, that's where we revert back. Okay. I'll we'll swap back over, grab the content from previous one. That's just right copied here. into the handler and paste okay and the other thing is we want to make sure that we confirm so advanced oh, voice attack sorry execute another command and this is the confirm request handler and we'll do that up front the other thing is we do not wait so it'll start doing that. We'll switch things around. Um, last piece is do we send the listener event value? Yeah, so we'll copy that out. And that actually helps uh, with a little bit of a contextual Okay, and because we're going to set some variables first that send into the, the handler, so we're going to set the listener event to shields, and I believe we'll just do shield direction. So then we'll have the handler execute, it'll confirm, and it should look for our values.